trust in the Lord. When you say you trust God, you say, I rely on Him. Totally reliant. Two mean I depend on him. Three, my confidence. If you say you trust God, but you don't rely on him. That is not trust. You know, you think Jesus was a when Jesus let's go on the other side when he slept there he fell the water it's not that Jesus was sleeping like he could not feel the water when, if you are sleeping we just pull in the water you can hear it. and the Bible said the water was filling and, and the actions of removing water and some forces and abilities of the disciples he was hearing that but he didn't want to be affected by what they are trying to do when they are removing water he said I, I trust my God he will take me there let them work I'm not working I'm sleeping but God will take me we need Christians who believe in the plan because it was the plan of Jesus after he saw someone on the other side and he said let's go there I don't know if you are hearing me the reason why you are failing in life is after you say I want to go on the other side and when you are going you use your ability to reach on the other side you will fail somewhere but Jesus said I said it and I'm feeling water but because he honor my word and I think this is my plan let me sleep we'll reach on the other as side so we have got people here today that God is taking them on the other side you need to plan sit down and plan because whatever comes to your mind the devil can't put it there's the word of God that sharpen your mind and the ideas and the dreams that you have in your mind are not coming from Satan because the of building is God who's putting them on you that house, that car, that business that plan, whatever you want to do don't retreat don't surrender your God wants you to see yourself on the other side say I trust God tell me say I trust God when you trust God it's a prophecy it shall come to pass trust in the Lord